Assalamu alaikum. Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I want to present you a topic that is clinically very important. And the name is Methemoglobinemia. As the name suggests, this disease refers to the group of disorders relating to the hemoglobin. So what is the methemoglobinemia? It is actually a disorder in which the heme iron of the hemoglobin is oxidized from the Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus to in order to produce a component known as the methemoglobin which has the inability to carry the oxygen. So we will write here that what is the methemoglobinemia? disorder in which heme iron is oxidized is oxidized from plus to produce methemoglobin I would highlight it this component is very important in this lecture to produce methemoglobin which has the which has inability which has inability to carry oxygen so what does this uh, what complication does it cause this inability to carry oxygen actually affect the delivering of the oxygen towards the tissues which require oxygen for their metabolic reactions. Now, we will discuss the causes of the methemoglobinemia. That what are the causes which cause this particular disease? So, referring to the causes. What are the causes? Number one cause is the presence of certain drugs which include the different endogenous products which include the nitrates and which includes the oxidative compounds reactive oxidative compounds so it includes the certain drugs if these drugs are present in our blood it would, it would cause this disease, methemoglobinemia. So, what does these drugs include? <coughs> Number one, endogenous products. Number two, nitrates. Oxygen compounds. Compounds or species. Reactive oxygen compounds or species. So these are the this is the number one cause that the presence of the certain drugs. Now referring to the second cause. That what is the second cause which produces this methemoglobinemia? Now referring to the second cause which causes this methemoglobinemia. And the 
second cause is absence of an enzyme absence of enzyme known as NADH cytochrome B5 reductase So this is the name of the whole enzyme. NADH cytochrome B5 reductase. Now I will uh, I will go in more detail regarding this enzyme. This enzyme actually converts the methemoglobin into the normal hemoglobin. So if this enzyme NADH cytochrome B5 reductase is absent in the blood, then what would happen? the hemoglobin would be converted into the methemoglobin and that methemoglobin would remain in the blood showing the symptoms of the disease so that's why it's this absence the absence of this particular enzyme is very lethal for our body now i would illustrate by the diagram by the help of diagram that what is the significance of this enzyme let me show you let's say this is the normal hemoglobin which has the heme iron Fe2 plus and there are certain drugs here which convert this normal hemoglobin to the abnormal methemoglobin methemoglobin which has this iron component. So what this enzyme do? NADH cytochrome B5 reductase So this enzyme converts this methemoglobin back to the normal hemoglobin so this cycle is illustrating us that how this normal hemoglobin is converted by these drugs into the abnormal methemoglobin and how this enzyme is converting this abnormal methemoglobin back to the normal hemoglobin so that's why this the presence of this enzyme is very much important because it converts the methemoglobin into the normal hemoglobin now this concludes our portion of causes that what causes this disease now I would like to tell you about what happens in the newborn babies newborn babies Newborn babies has half the tendency as compared to adults to convert the methemoglobin into the normal hemoglobin. So they have half the tendency they have half the tendency to convert methemoglobin into the normal hemoglobin so so new newborn babies are more sensitive to the methemoglobin now what happens uh, further if there is a mutation in the early stages like if there is a mutation in the alpha or beta genes what happened that a component known as the HBM is produced which is resistant to the cytochrome NADH B5 reductase enzyme so due to this property that is half of the tendency to, to convert the methemoglobin into hemoglobin this means that newborn babies are more sensitive more susceptible to this 
methemoglobin emias. Now furthermore, I would like to add more detail in it. If there is a mutation in the alpha or beta chains in early stages like in newborn babies, what happens that HBM is produced. Now what is this HBM component? This HBM component is resistant to the enzyme known as the reductase and that is the enzyme we know functions to convert the methemoglobin that is abnormal into the normal hemoglobin. So if it is producing resistance against this enzyme that component which is the HBM then what would happen that methemoglobin would remain in the newborn baby and the newborn baby will continue to express the disease that is the methemoglobinemia because that methemoglo because that methemoglobin is already present in the blood and it is not converting into the normal hemoglobin due to the resistance to the reductase so we will summarize it like this that mutation in alpha or beta chain produces a component which is the HBM that is resistant to the reductase that is resistant to the reductase enzyme so due to this resistance methemoglobin would remain in the body of the newborn baby and it will continue to express the disease which is the methemoglobinemia now I will tell you about the symptoms of the disease but what are the signs and symptoms of this disease which indicate this disease, methemoglobinemia. So, talking about symptoms. We are talking about the first symptom that is the chocolate cyanosis. Now what is this term chocolate cyanosis? This symptom actually indicates the presence of the brown blood and the presence of the blue skin. So what happens that the person having the disease known as the methemoglobinemia have this symptom and what happens in this symptom the color of the blood turns brown and the color of the skin becomes blue. So what happens that the person having methemoglobinemia has the brown blood and blue skin. So this is about the first symptom. Second, a person also can experience the headache due to this methemoglobinemia. Third, it is the anxiety. Patient can also experience this anxiety disorder as well. Number four, if, if in the case of more severity, if the disease, if the disease become more severe, so it can lead to the coma and death as well which is a very lethal situation so these are the symptoms which is shown in the disease known as the methemoglobinemia so after discussing the symptoms we would move towards the treatment that what is the treatment of this this particular disease how this disease is treated so this disease is treated by the substance known as the methylene blue now 
Now what function does this methylene blue performs? This methylene blue itself gets oxidized and reduces the Fe3 plus of the methemoglobin and by reducing this it produces the normal hemoglobin. Now I would in show you by the help of the equation. This is the methylene blue and this is the abnormal methemoglobin possessing the heme iron in the form of this Fe3 plus so it actually it reduces itself get oxidized it actually itself get oxidized releasing one electron and this methemoglobin Fe3 plus actually accepts this electron and gets converted into the normal hemoglobin that is very much essential for the normal functioning of our blood and ultimate the body so in this way methylene blue does the treatment of this methemoglobinemia so this concludes our lecture and i hope you have understood it well about the methemoglobinemia about its causes about its symptoms and about its treatment and uh, last but not the least don't forget subscribing ms lectures thank you